Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please adopt several orphaned babies, change their name to Modest Pelican, and then manipulate them to take over several major nations, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. Today we have quite a special video as I've been invited to compete in the Grand Theft Auto Meme Olympics. So before we get into heisting with the Stealtho boys, I need to go and win a gold medal. I play on Xbox and this will be taking place on the PC version of the game, so I'll have to use Thick Man's stunt double, Thick Man from Wish. Meet Wish Man, a character I had to make in 5 minutes because I got the recording day confused. I head down to the fancy clothing shop and put on my trademark in Vogue Speed Dealer sunglasses and timeless red skinny tie. This actually looks pretty authentic, let's go and meet the other contestants. I head towards the city and proceed to try and murder our first competitor to assert dominance. He doesn't appreciate this and puts a bullet into my head. Lads and lasses meet TGG. He'll be stiff competition as he's extremely talented, however not that tough when he's AFK. Think big, work smart. Our second competitor comes from the Netherlands and goes by the gamer tag Epic Roblox Master, which I find highly amusing. You just know he has loads of sex and his name is Sunny Evans. Sunny once took a holiday to the Virgin Islands and now they're just called the Islands. Our third and final competitor is distinguished GTA speedrunner Dark Viper AU. With a code that says I dabble in the pimp game and an intrinsic hunger for efficiency, he's a true modern day powerhouse. Whoever wins three challenges first will be crowned champion. I feel kind of bad as I'm posting this a couple of months before the real world summer Olympics. Those athletes train so hard and their achievements are going to feel relatively insignificant when they're completely overshadowed by what we're achieving here today. Also, if this video hits 40,000 likes, I'll do another GTA Online video next week as a lot of you have been asking for more Sons of Virgins content. Our first challenge is naturally jet ski jousting. The first playoff round goes to Sunny Evans in a close fought battle with Dark Viper, at least to leave a beautiful corpse. Now it's my turn to earn a spot in the final. I'm gonna be real mad if you beat me in this, dude. Yeah, I won't I lie. Would, yeah, I, I should I win this. Statistically, I should win this one. My God, who will take the sweet victory royale? Yes! Oh yes! my god! No! What a shot! <laughs> Unexpected. Unexpected. In one of my most proud gaming moments, I managed to kill TGG with a keyboard and mouse. Using a mouse to aim really isn't my forte. I once misclicked on P-Hub and accidentally watched 45 minutes of My Little Pony Tentacle Hentai. The final kicks off as Sunny and I trade blows, searching for that winning shot. Oh, nice shot. Oh, nice shot. shot. A great victory for Sonny as he takes the lead. I assume every Dutch woman just ovulated. The next challenge is one of courage, strength, and determination. The first person who can parachute down, find someone wearing a fedora, and beat them to death with a baseball bat wins. It's a beautiful challenge as it's deeply metaphorical. We the guys with baseball bats resemble society, and the person wearing a fedora resembles a person wearing a fedora. Two, one, good luck, just kidding. Let's go. Well, I don't even have a parachute, bro, so you're doing better than me. You don't have a parachute at all? No. Oh, just way <laughs> to the ground. I had a parachute and still died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the fedora. Yes, I'm sorry, lady. Let's go, uh, boys. Fuck I you. Yes. God dang it. And TGG emerges victorious and puts himself on the scoreboard like a boss. Well played. And challenge three brings us to the summit of Mount Chiliad. Before we talk the rules, we all beat up some hikers together. Even those engaged in fierce competition can bond over their hatred of people who wake up early and seize the day. The first gamer to make it down the mountain on a BMX bike wins. <laughs> What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> Highlighting you don't watch my facts and glitches series. I am. Oh, wow. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Bro. I I'm watch, sorry. I've watched a lot of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> Levitating with the boys. I, I, I just want to do this. Uh, no. <laughs> Three. Two, what? Wow. Wow, we're the oh, okay. oh. Sunny saying wow instead of one completely catfished me, but the lads decide it's a fair start. I take an early lead, mostly because of this misunderstanding. This actually reminds me of when I was a teenager and I was pushing my sister around on a sketchy rope swing and she started to go 
way too high. I thought she was yelling, go Jeff, go, when she was really yelling, no Jeff, put me down you little shit. She broke her wrist and I felt horrible. She had to wear a cast to her year 12 formal and everyone called her stumpy. How you doing man, that was tough wasn't it? That was tough, I bet took some bad girls. Sunny Evans and Dark Viper battle it out as TGG and I take an honestly quite tranquil jog down the mountainside together. Eventually Sunny comes out victorious, putting himself just one challenge away from a win. Desperately needing to get on the board, I buckle in for the next event. We'll be racing post-op vans across the entire map, but you're allowed to shoot each other's vehicles. Okay, this this is really not as like cool as I thought I, it would I, be. I see yeah. what we're doing here. Alright, TGG, are you on the board yet? Oh, oh you motherfucker! Wow, DGG, the betrayal there. Wow, DGG. Oh, it's not me. I would never shoot another Australian. In here. Thanks, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Epic Roblox master. And Dark Viper manages to take a prominent lead, and with his skills, of course, he never gives it up. Some would say he won fair and square and is clearly a better player than me, but I say it's just bad RNG. Challenge 5 is a game of hide and go seek and the perfect opportunity for me to finally get on the board. The legend Smitten turns off his map and goes into first person while we all hide somewhere in Grove Street. Now my strategy was to win, but also block Sunny Evans from winning, so I decide to shadow him. He's found quite the spot and we have the last two left unfound. Smitten quickly approaches and so I decide to attempt a pretty bold strategy. There's no way he didn't see you just then, dude. No! Rex, well, he he wins! I did I stole Sunny's spot. <laughs> <laughs> Finally on the board, and it feels pretty great. A think big, work smart cryptocurrency. And challenge six is a timeless classic. A fight to the death on top of Maze Bank Tower. Three, well, two, oh, we're one. Doing it. Okay. Take into account Sunny Evans is on two points. Go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's animal cruelty, bro. Where How the f am I the first to go down? My strategy was to keep a low profile and I ended up somehow going down first, which is honestly just karma. Unfortunately, Dark Viper's speed running strategies meant he defeated Sunny and the games were still alive. Challenge seven is some family friendly skate shooting. With no clay pigeon feature in GTA, Smitten volunteers to be the target by launching himself into the air on a motorbike. Somebody give this man a purple heart for his bravery. You are so ugly, Mother's Pelican. Hey, this is the very, this, this is, this is thick man from Wish, you mother <laughs> Meet Wish Man. <laughs> oh, that's a high one. Oh, oh I really oh, thought I had that. Oh, Sonny! Sonny! Oh, Sonny, okay. Oh, Sonny, congrats, dude. Oh, congrats, Sonny. Thank you, thank you. Sonny Evans, the man, the myth, the legend, emerges victorious, and honestly, he's really cracked. Well done, mate. His request is that we each pay him one sincere compliment. You're the greatest Dutch YouTuber GTA guy who happens to be here right now. You have the ninth most Fortnite earnings of anyone in the Netherlands, but I think you deserve the eighth most. It's true. Sonny had the ninth highest Fortnite earnings out of anyone in the Netherlands but now he sits at 15th. Imagine not even being in the top 10. What a peasant. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. It was truly an honor and a pleasure. A massive thanks to the lads. That was so much fun. What a bunch of legends. Now it's time to heist. I head back to my Xbox. Why does that make me sound like a 12-year-old? But yeah, as I load in, Thick Man is taking a phone call. Look how stylish he is. If I could have used the real Thick Man in the meme Olympics, I probably could have won. And just kidding, the only point I got was from Hide and Go Seek, and I literally stole Sonny's spot. I was a glorified guest appearance at best. I'm also still driving this minivan, but I feel like my soccer mum days are over and it's time to upgrade. The boys and I decide to all buy Ocelot jugulars as they're heavily on sale at the moment. While we wait for them to be delivered, I decide to repetitively murder Stealth Omanto. He won't die though, my boy is just built different. There is no theory of evolution, Charles Darwin was full of shit. All creatures that are currently alive only exist because Mato chooses not to make them extinct. Eventually our cars are delivered and I drop a cool half a mil doing it up. Stealth Carbo the King arrives and now all the lads are together, drifting their way to a better future. It's kind of concerning how much time I spend committing vehicular manslaughter on this beach. Before I had quit my day job, my boss showed his wife one of my videos and I remember her absolute horror when I mowed people down with my supercar. She looked up and said, why would you do that, Jeff? And so I took a sip of my chilled Voss water, looked her in the eyes like they were the windows to her soul and said, like and subscribe. And she did, what a lovely woman. After we spend way too long jizzing our pants over our new matching cars, we decide to roll out. We've barely gone a mile and English Dave gives me a call. He wants me to help find his chakra stone bracelet. What kind of friend would I be if I said no? We roll out and quite frankly, these cars are the best purchase we've ever made. 
This kind of reminds me of Fast and the Furious back when it was actually about street racing. I can't wait for Fast and the Furious 10 to release later this year where the crew will travel to Mars to defeat the Avengers because family. We arrive at the trailer park and get ready to kill some hippies. Thank god we had these cars otherwise I don't think we could have completed the mission. Hippies biggest weakness has and always will be sick drifts. This woman has a huge heart but is offering very little to the ongoing conflict. This is why you only do drugs sometimes. We retrieve the stones back and on the drive back even managed to capture some immaculate train footage. I might write to the hub and see if they can start a new category for cinematic train shots as I feel we're really starting to push the envelope here. I think this footage demonstrates that through perseverance, friendship, hard work and even more perseverance, impossible truly is nothing. Jokes aside, I'm unironically happy with this wall ride train shot. We deliver the hippie stones to English Dave and get paid a cool 50k. We then head over to my facility as it's time to heist. First off is a cheeky heist prep where we have to steal a laptop. I can't tell you how nice it is not to be driving that minivan everywhere as its top speed was lower than Mato's girlfriend's standards. We arrive at the house and commence the operation. I lay down suppressing fire while Mato picks the lockbox. This kind of raw talent and operational chemistry is why we are currently the most sought after esports players on the oceanic circuit. Heist prep complete. And next up we have to steal a futuristic tank from the US military. I love the escalation of missions in GTA games, especially the single player. I've been making a lot of content on San Andreas and now GTA 4 in the last year or so. It's funny how the first few missions will tell you to get a haircut and maybe some takeaway food and then 45 minutes later you're stealing a jetpack from Area 51 as panzer tanks swarm your position. We destroy the army's equipment and locate the tank. You've gotta love Carbo's commitment to his work. If the family can identify the body then what's the point? I don't know much but I do know I want to buy myself a Kanjali tank. My grandpa who fought in World War II once told me a joke about tanks. He said how do you stop a Russian tank? You shoot the two Soviets pushing it. He then laughed to himself for about 5 minutes, what a legend. Our next task is to retrieve a module from a fighter jet. A Carbo flies us close in his helicopter while I damage the jet to force it to make an emergency landing. It's extremely fortunate that the pilot isn't aware of how fast jets can go. He's also not very good at forced water landings as he dive bombs into the lake and proceeds to drown. And typically you either eject yourself or swim away afterwards, but I guess this is what happens when you don't put 100% of the country's budget into military. Stop building schools and hospitals, we need pilots who understand the core concept concept of jets. We flee and it's honestly quite an epic escape. Beaching boats as helicopters crash behind you will always be very cool. Prep complete. I salute the lads for what they've achieved here today and then head over to the casino. Of course only entering after I beat the valet to death. Anyone who doesn't kill this guy is the real psychopath. All in all a good day and next episode we will complete the heist and it will likely be quite magical. Thanks for watching you absolute legends, until next time and as always, stay classy.